All right, here we are, LZ World Tour, day one or two, I guess. I don't know if you want to count yesterday, not really. Uh, but today's the first day we'll actually be driving. Last night, I did an awesome job of booking our hotel a week in advance. Like, wasn't last night, I booked it for next week. So that was a real fun excursion, driving across the wrong side of town. And yeah, so now we got a new place to stay, luckily. We're here on Loaded, saying hi to everybody. Team Horny's here with us, Mr. Mitch. And uh, we just got the car tow plated, quarter inch tow out. We're gonna try to give it a try. We made some changes from Street League, which I only had negative three degrees of camber in the front and the wheel was rolling over really soon. We got negative six now in the front. It should be a lot better. Um, I think we only got a few hours of practice today. We'll see what we can do and uh, try to get comfortable for tomorrow. Team Horny coming to you live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here at the Adam LZ World Tour. Uh, we're just getting ready to do the driver's briefing and get ready to do some laps today. We have a few hours of practice and a lot of sweet drivers here. So we'll get a lot of cool laps in with a lot of good people. Should be sick. I'm super stoked to drive with a bunch of people that I've always wanted to drive with. So let's do it.
tow plate in the car. We added a little bit more rear toe in the back. We got about half inch total now in the rear. It was around an eighth zero inch. We never really run a lot of rear toe. So hopefully that will help give us a little bit extra grip. We're gonna throw the accelerators on, which yeah, we get some of those for practice, qualifying, and every battle you get, you get a set. So we're gonna throw some of those on after I kill these. Uh, it's 265, which we never ran on here before, so I'm pretty excited to see how it feels. Uh, we'll do those later, we're getting ready for practice. Uh, I think our first like jam session's in about 15 minutes. So yeah, we're feeling pretty good. They changed some the part of the track that I was struggling with, which is sweet. It was just like really awkward. It was two inner clips. It was an inner clip here and an inner clip here, and it was really hard to like make the arc to it. So now they pushed this first inner clip out, so now it feels like a much more natural arc. And it should feel pretty good now. I'm excited to go back out there and see how it feels. You'll know right away. All right. Are we videoing? Yeah. Yeah. We're videoing. Uh, so have a little bit too much camber wear on the left tire here, so I had Dylan come take a look. Trackside support from FDM. Uh, this tire. Wearing way too hard on the inside, so we're testing the new rear uppers for the S2000. And we just had Dylan come over here to make sure we have enough thread. And I believe I probably have like a degree and a half of positive camber now. Try to get rid of that uneven camber wear, have a better contact patch. So we're putting on the accelerators now, too, which is the tire that we'll be running at the LZ World Tour. See what the car can do. As we continue back to the grid, and you know what? There's one guy out here who likes to party. It's this guy. This is the guy that turns up an S2000 with a K24 turbo. It's just in Medina, 530 horsepower. And everyone said, never drift an S2000. Too snappy. Doesn't yeah. work. Well, I'm going to just, and I don't want a commentator's curse, <laughs> but Justin Medina has been doing some stuff in practice that's going to impress you. Justin coming off the line here. Look at that big flick in a Honda S2000 into that first corner. Looking super consistent on that line as he tucks the nose in. Makes this car look pretty easy to drive, I can guarantee you. It is not. It's unconventional, but it looks really good so far as he fires across the track. Oh, a little wide there, but it's long. It's better wide than narrow, but no! That's my fault. That's all my you fault. Said it was snappy. I said that it was did snappy. Not snap. That did not snap, Dave. He just, uh, yeah. I, I'm telling you, it's second run. It's, it's coming. The big score. The, I, I predict that if he gets this right on the second run, it's going to be the highest score we ever see from an S2000 in qualifying. Just put it out there. 
So I need a history lesson as to what the highest scoring run of, a, of an. I'm SD also has. making that claim with no reference or no idea. So I'm Perfect. just going to say it is Love it. either way. What I will say, K24, great sounding engine. Sounds good. I think, to be honest, to me, the K20. I mean, this is a Honda engine in a Honda right. drift car, which is the most unusual combination. I think, Super right? Strange. Yeah, yeah, but I want a what a car to do it. The S2000, kind of the forgotten child of the drift world. <laughs> Guess who else has a zero? Who's that? Justin Medina, who's on the start line right now in the S2000. He's got cheetah print. He's got flowers. He's got a great mustache. He's got an S2000. He's got it all going he's on. He's got it all. Yeah. Pretty much living my best life. I can't I could, think I of could, anything else. I couldn't pull that. off the flowers, the cheetah, or the mustache, to be honest. And he's got it all going on. And a Honda engine Honda drifting. I do have a, a set of clippers up here. We could try the mustache out if you want. Well, like. we can't try the talent because Justin has more than I have. And here we go. Can he keep it together? Zero on the first run for Justin Medina. Works in Link ECU, and that's a big wall run from Justin Medina. And when you're close to a wall in S2000, you are really close to a wall as he fires through the inside zone. And this is where he made a mistake the last time. Can he keep it together? Justin Medina firing back across the track. Spun the car out here the last time. No such issue this time as he tucks the nose in. This is what we came here to see. Justin Medina in the S2000 fires over the finish line. Big improvement. And we love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, it's a Honda S2000 doing yeah. things. It's, it's, it is 100% doing so things. So many S2000s just doing grip days and track days. Old, and Old people days. Yeah, this, yeah. you know, people out there, wind in their hair. He's like, I want to race fuel in my teeth, if that's the thing. I don't think it tires in my teeth. Race fuel in my, I don't know. Yeah, something in your teeth. You I could, mean, it's something. Yeah, I, it, it was a great run. And these cars are notoriously snappy, like you said. Yeah. They just, out of nowhere, decide And to you also you. sit very far back in the chassis, so you're quite close to the rear wheels, so it makes everything feel like you're moving a lot more than you are. So I can understand how it's tricky to drive, but he does a good job, gets a score on the board. Is it enough to go top 13? We'll find out shortly. 81.33, oh, so, so he's, he's in there. He's, he's in, in the there, all right, yeah. qualifying run. I almost lived it again in the last corner, but I scored an 81, which I'm waiting to find out right now if I'm in the main show for tomorrow or if I have to battle in the last chance bracket tonight. So, watching the live stream to find out. Oh, they decided this thing. Yeah. 13. 13, baby. Woo! Stupid fuck, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need it. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the final show for tomorrow, automatically. Qualified in, recovered from the first run. Gonna have a drink because now I just get to chill and watch the battles tonight. Got 13th position, which I'll take it. Uh, yeah, so we'll see who we get. We'll watch the battles tonight and see who we get to drive against tomorrow. All right, day two, big day. Uh, feeling up the car, you're ready. We got Tommy Lemaire in the first round. We got it right into the uh, qualifying spot for the final bracket today. Tommy Lemaire is going to definitely be a hard battle. He won Crubs back last week in uh, Atlanta, and he's an extremely good driver. So we're just going to try to go out there and do our best and see what we can do. Hopefully come away with the win and uh, keep moving forward. Yeah.
washing too. I just aired down a bunch. Like I was trying to make a big change. And, I've been yeah. scrubbing my fronts like crazy. I almost did that once, and I thought I was like, I know front grip. Like, they know front grip. Nothing looks nice on the front. Yeah, the front are big balls. pretty crushed up everybody worked to try to get it close the steering feels a little goofy right now so we're still trying to mess with it before uh, the battles to see if I can even feel comfortable to battle because right now it doesn't feel comfortable to even make a lap so yeah we'll see what's happened I was gonna say you turned up in an s2000 but you turned up to the top 16 with half an s2000 does that make it a an s1000 maybe so basically, you have, in my opinion, the strangest setup here. You've got a K24 in an S2000 with cheetah print and a phenomenal mustache. What, all of that together is going to be the dark horse for everybody else on the grid. What happened? Where's the rest of the car, Justin? Uh, today, second lap of practice. They're just uh, trying to get a little bit of spice into the car and got a little too hot into the first corner, understeered, went into the wall, and uh, we tried to get it straightened out. The frame kind of accordion. We pulled it, and... Uh, we're gonna to try to see what we can do against Tommy. So what we're saying is you, you have half your car bent in half. You're going up against the current Canadian champion. We're gonna need a big cheer here in a bit for the underdog. Get it for Justin Medina! That would be a very Tommy. Irish phrase, yep. It does make so um, we will now see Justin Medina who has decided to remove all of the front of his Honda S2000 for some reason, probably doing a bit of crashing, I'd imagine, mm. um, in practice. He, he had a very beautiful car starting off the event. Now he's losing bits of it as it goes. But this is a K24 Turbo S2000, and it absolutely rips the Cheetah Medina, as he is he's known, far into that first corner. Uh, has no opponents in this fantasy belt, which is a good way of winning, I think. I, I think exactly. if I was to do a fantasy belt, I would try and do it without anybody else, because then I know I would get at least two people would vote for me, and that would be enough to take the win. So I think that you play the odds with that stuff. This is a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out with him. Let's see how it plays out for him. Um, you get to see all the suspension working in that car, because there's not much body work left. Um, looks like a 50s Ford or something. Ah, yes. Cool car, though, guys. Get up for Justin Medina in the S2000. Laying down. Getting lost a little in his own smoke there, but that's fine. 
That's, okay. That's acceptable. Again, pressure's off when you don't have an opponent. I think I would win every battle against myself. That's I would say that's good odds there. I, I would say that uh, I knock myself out more than I lose to if other you, people. If you could lose to yourself, and that yeah, would be yeah, an incredible embarrassment. pretty common in my yeah. racing career. And you have no one to hold a grudge against then, because no. it's just yourself. Yeah. So, just a minute, just getting a practice run in there in the S2000. Um, if anybody has got front fenders for an S2000, you can head to Justin's pit area, and he will try and uh, fit them back. Oh, just one, actually. He's only missing one fender. I think there's one out of the parking There's line. one over there yeah. somewhere, yeah. Okay, so we move on to our next fantasy. And we moving along to our next battle. We talk about underdog stories. We got to talk about the underdog story here of Justin Medina. Big crash with the wall. That S2000 is not straight. The chassis is not straight. And everything about it, well, even his mindset is probably not straight right now because he's sitting there going, I've got to go crazy here or I'm not going to win this battle against Tommy Lemare. Because I'll be honest, Lemare's got the pro car. He's the current champion. Medina is an amateur driver in a crashed car, essentially. Yeah. So this is going to be... This would be a miracle if Justin Medina could even stay with Tommy Lemare here. This is what dreams are made of right here. We will see what happens as Tommy Lemare takes off the line. Medina following a chase. Medina, that tiny, tiny little car doing what he can, but spinning it and looping it out. And Tommy Lemare is going to throw it and run through the rest of this run. Medina looks like he just tried to push a little bit too hard. As you said, that car may not be straight, so... Those wheels may not be pointing in the correct No, we had a look at it. it it's got a chassis leg that oh, is yeah. definitely not straight. Uh, to be honest, I gotta say, for bravery to go out there in a car that's really beat up, it, it's brave. Because you don't, a lot of these guys, you know, you could say, oh, it's not for me, I'm out for the weekend, uh, you know, my car is done. But Justin Medina, the cheetah, is not gonna give up like that. He said, I came here to party, I'm gonna do it till I can't. They'll drive the wheels off the car. Yep. He very nearly has. And I will be honest when I say that that car is probably horrendous to drive right now. There is no <laughs> alignment whatsoever. And to go in behind Tommy Lemare, who's already set an incredible pace into that first corner, but well, you got to be even braver again. Yeah. Yeah, Medina the Cheetah, I, I mean, I, I like it. I like it. So they're going to swap it around. I mean, now now here's the hard part, is how messed up is Justin's car? You know, what's Tommy I mean, going to do here? Take a look, Jacob. Have a quick look at well, the car. From That's here, how messed up it is. From, from my 10,000 foot view or 3,000 yeah. meter view, it's not great. It looks a little sad. It's, the car looks a little sad. It's but a little crooked. He's now in the lead position. Can he keep a run together? Lemaire's, you know, people be on the radio to him saying, I don't know, do you go too close? Do you leave him a little bit of room? I think Lemaire's going to leave him a little room here. Yeah, I think Tommy's going to kind of run his own fight here. Let's see what happens. But that may be the wrong move. It could mess up. Tommy Lemare, well, Medina out front holding everything together. And now Tommy Lemare goes, oh, he might finish this run. I need to get back in the race. As Medina transitions now, Tommy Lemare is going to see how much. It's, let's see if he can straighten it from the other side. It's Tommy Lemare starts to push in even deeper as they get closer to the wall. Well, I got to say. Round of applause for Justin Medina in a crashed car doing a full run of the circuit that probably would have put him in the top half of qualifying yesterday. Yeah, that is run. impressive stuff. Tommy Lemare was like, I'll just give him some room. Uh oh, no, hold on. He's keeping this together. I better get back in it. But with that big spin on the first run, Lemare knew he had very little to do on the second, but just keep it together. Yeah, and and you can see that halfway through that run, Lemare's like, oh, I should probably get a little bit close. This guy is not going anywhere. So. I gotta say, to be honest, I didn't think Justin Medina's car would make the run, and it really did make so the run. That was impressive stuff. So I gotta say, from my perspective, I, he's he's one in our hearts. He, you know what? Yeah. He's got half an S2000, but a full heart for me. That's the way I look at it. So we now go up to our judges' decision. Who's going through to the top eight? I think it's going to be an obvious one. Tommy Lemaire gets the win. Tommy Lemaire gets the win and goes through to the top eight. Your current Canadian champion, uh, not tested quite yet, but I gotta say. A memorable battle where Justin Medina had to battle against himself. Never mind if he was against a champion or nobody at all. That was tough to get around for Justin Medina. Did a great job, did himself proud. All right, guys, lost to Tommy Lemare. That's the end. No, just kidding. Uh, tried to get it back together. We did an all right lead for him. He spun out in the chase. Uh, we still have little things to figure out on the car. He was driving a little weird after the collision. But it's at least somewhat here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get loaded up, get ready to head home tomorrow morning. We're just gonna chill out tonight. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This was an amazing experience. Hopefully, I can come to one of these again uh, and put on a better show. And uh, yeah, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Take it easy.